So there hasn't been much love to Arc Mobile lately, but finally the developers have been working on something big. This is the huge February update that they've been talking about for a while now, and there are so many new huge changes that are going to be coming. Anyways, if you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe right before we get into the video. But anyways, let's take a look at this new update that literally just came out today. So the update was just released about 3 hours ago, and on the official Arc Survival Evolved mobile Twitter, they tweeted out our February update update is now available with a host of new features. Enjoy mobile exclusive mammoth TLC, battle structures, inventory filtering, implant requests, new photo pursuits, baby toys, and a whole lot more. So look at this here, mobile exclusive mammoth TLC. So it looks like mobile, they got the new TLC for the mammoth before any other platform. So that's incredible. I don't know why they did this, but it looks like it's out for you guys, everyone who plays Arc Mobile. So let's take a look at the trailer here. So on the official Arc Mobile YouTube channel, it has almost 50,000 subscribers now. They actually just announced about an hour or two ago, I believe this was about an hour ago, they released this video, February Update Overview Arc Survival Evolved Mobile. So let's take a look at this video and see what's going to be happening. So as you guys just saw, it looks like they're adding an inventory filter. And what this is, it's gonna be a lot more easier to navigate around the inventory and also just to find things that you're trying to look for. So right here was a great example of it. If you wanna find something in your inventory or in the crafting or whatever, just type it in. So it's gonna be a lot easier to find different items that you're trying to find in your inventory. Also, they just added in, it looks like, the crouch and also the prone. So the crouch was never added before, and as you can imagine, that's really useful for PvP and just for movement around. And also, they added in the prone, which is very, very helpful for PvP. So if you guys are trying to go and sneak up on some enemies or something, crouch and prone are very useful, and they're kind of necessary if you want to really PvP. So they finally added that into Arc Mobile. So now it looks like you can take a screenshot on Arc Mobile, get the best angles, find out everything that you really need to know. They even have this little pop-up in the right-hand corner telling you a little bit about the species or whatever. So that's super awesome. Now they're trying to get you guys to really take awesome photos in the game. So the inverted and the black and white filters, I'm not sure why people would really use these. They, the inverted just looks disgusting. It looks like someone threw up all over the screen. And the black and white, it looks pretty cool, but it's really hard to make out different you know, features and in-depth little things in the game. So I don't think black and white would be really useful for PvP. And inverted just looks disgusting. So I don't think many people are going to be using these filters, but they are kind of interesting. the old smelly fish weapon skin. So this skin looks pretty dope. I mean, I don't think it's that practical, but it is a pretty dope skin. I haven't seen this on console or PC, so it looks like this is an Arc Mobile exclusive skin. That's super awesome right there. So the toys for baby creatures. So it looks like these are different types of toys that you can give to the creatures when they're babies and they're trying to mature and it pretty much just speeds up the maturing speed. So instead of taking like three hours for example, which isn't even realistic at all, but instead of let's, let's say four hours, instead of taking four hours for the baby to fully mature, now it'll take only two hours because of the two times maturing speed and that's just for the jump rope. You know, every single baby toy, it really depends and each one has a different maturing speed boost. So as you guys just saw, there are some brand new structures in the game, the battlements. So the battlements, I hope I'm pronouncing that right, but they're pretty much new structures that you can place down, and I'm also going to make a video on Arc Mobile to just to show you in-game and some more footage. But as you just saw, when the Giga walked in, it went through a gate, and as you could see, alongside the gate, there were like these huge structures that weren't stone walls, but they weren't gates. So it's almost like huge, super large stone walls. Instead of just placing down a ton of walls, now you just place down these battlements, and they pretty much act as huge barriers for your base. Thank you. 
So it looks like the trike, it also finally got the TLC pass that it was waiting for. A lot of these different creatures on Ark Mobile hadn't been updated in a while, and finally they're dishing out some of them. So the trike, it finally got updated, and that's super awesome. So it also looks like the Raptor was updated and it has the new TLC pass. So now it can pounce on enemies and it can like pin people down. That's really awesome. The Raptor on Arc Mobile had never been updated before and it was kind of just like behind the game, the behind the rest of the platforms by like a year. So I'm glad that they're finally updating that. Alright, so that last one is really, really huge, and that's one of the main parts of this huge update for Arc Mobile, because they've never done something like that before, or at least to this large scale, of adding in a new TLC pass to a dino that has never been released on the other platforms. So now, instead of like, you know, updating, let's say, PC with the new Mammoth update and then adding it to Arc Mobile later, now they gave Arc Mobile the first look at the Mammoth TLC. So everyone on every other platform can't use it, only Arc Mobile players. So if you guys are on Arc Mobile, go ahead, flex to all the other players that don't have it yet. But anyways, that Mammoth, it is awesome. Now it has the ability to literally have like this water spout that literally shoots at the enemies and will push them back. That's super awesome. I'm not sure if it does damage. It didn't look at, like it did damage in the trailer, but it is really cool and it's something that we were looking forward to in the game. Also, they gave the mammoth a platform saddle. So now instead of just having one platform right in the middle like the rest of the creatures, now it has two platforms, one on each side of the rider. So that's really interesting and I'm glad that they finally added that into Arc Mobile and hopefully they update all the other platforms very soon just so that everyone has the chance to test out this new mammoth. All right guys, so that was pretty much it for the trailer but they did also announce some patch notes so these are like every single little thing that came in the update because they couldn't fit everything in that little trailer but there are a ton of new things that were added i'm gonna link this down below um you guys can read through if you guys play on arc mobile uh, i don't want to bore you guys but i'm gonna go through all the main key points so you already know now there's the new mammoth tlc so they added in a new siege saddle which was the platform saddle that we saw but anyways we have some more details on the new mammoth tlc not just the visual but actual details on it so enter water to drink and hold water then spray it and swipe up capacity is a breedable trait so it looks like guys you're going to be able to hold and spray water at different enemies and just other opponents so that's super awesome i don't know why they decided to add in a spray water trait maybe the mammoths back in the day had these and it also looks like the amount of water that the mammoth will be able to hold really depends on how you breeded it and it, it can get better over time when you breed it so also the raptor and trike tlc there's new art and new attacks for both of those you guys already know about these because they have been released for the other platforms for a while they added in baby toys we already know about that and pretty much everything else we already went over except these different percentages here so they increased the eerie pistol damage by 30 percent they increased the cutlass durability by 50 percent they decreased the auto turret damage by 20 percent and they increased dodo melee by 28 percent that is the most random thing i think i have ever seen a dodo melee increase by 28 okay uh, but everything else they're just doing this just to balance the game i guess auto tarts were a little too powerful and these different types of you know weapons weren't as powerful so they upped the weapons and they decreased the auto tart anyways everything underneath this new version 1.1.17 after that everything else has already been released to the game if you guys didn't know about all these different things you can go ahead and read through them uh all of these are usually just optimization things but you guys can read through it like i said Said, if you want the link for this will be down in the description as well as the trailer i'll link that down below as well but anyways thank you guys so much for watching today's video if you're new to the channel why not subscribe if you enjoyed the video and leave a like if you haven't already i will see you guys in my next video hopefully soon peace